Here's the big project. Movie review. <clears throat> so you're going to create a website with one or more movie reviews. The page will contain the following paragraphs for each review. You need to have title, director, synopsis, and the review. The style sheet will have corresponding classes. Okay. Also you need to have one picture, name of at least one actor in italics, and the background and text colors. Okay. So if you go forward here, I, I show you the base setup. So this is setting up your HTML document very simply. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to open up my text editor. Okay. All right. So we always got to start with that HTML tag, HTML. And then we can put the, the head here. And the head. And then we have our body and the body. And and our HTML. Why is this doing to me? There we go. Okay. So inside the head. We need to have title, movie review. This is what's going to show in the tab heading over here. Okay, close the title. Separate from that, this is where we're going to put our style. So, style, style. There we go. So we like to have this indented here from the head because it's part of that. All right. Now for the body. We're going to have several paragraphs. So we're going to have title. Like that. And so on. So you're going to set this all up. You can copy these. might make it a little easier. Okay, copy and paste, and then just change them. Director, synopsis, and review. Okay, all set up. Now we go ahead and set up our style classes. Okay, so inside style, we need to have dot title. Curly brace, close that curly brace. And we need to have a few more. So we're going to copy and paste. So this is going to be director synopsis and review. Okay. So all our style is set up now. Great. Now we add content. So if we go back here, you'll see that you have to specify the classes as well as putting in the content. So let's make this smaller. So inside here, after the P, class equals title in quotes. Okay. Class equals director in quotes. This is what we need in order to make sure that whatever style elements we put inside these are affected to the proper area down here. There we go. Oh, forgot the quotation mark. All right. So uh, another basic setup. Then we have to add properties here. So I didn't add too much uh, stuff here. So this is going to be title, title of movie. So there's more to see. And director of movie. We're going to replace all this with the actual stuff. 
synopsis is a basic summary of the plot of the movie. There you go. And review, review is a personal review that you're going to write of this movie. You can take into account the special effects, character development, um, music, uh, camera work, etc. Whatever you like. All right, so let's save this. And we'll go, inside, go inside documents. And we're going to create a new folder. So this is 3.5. So we're going to do 3-5 for this lesson. Make it nice and easy. And we're going to call this movie review.html to make it nice and easy. OK, now we want to take, we'll take a look at it. So open up my file browser, go to documents, go to that 3-5 folder, and double click here. And in Google Chrome, here's my web page. Pretty boring so far, pretty boring. Well, why is it boring? Well, we haven't added any style yet, so here's a chance to put some style. So let's say we want background color. Let's say we want dark green. That sounds good. So let's save it. And we'll go back here. Refresh. Oh, now that's only for this area, the title. Hmm. OK. Well, if you want the whole thing to be have a background color, you need a new class, body. This will affect the whole body of the page. So if we move this, we cut this, and we paste it inside the body here. Now the whole page is green. Okay. All right. So what else can we change? Well, you go forward here. There's a huge list of things we can add. So we've focused on color, okay? Color to text. We've looked at text attributes, okay? Like tech, te uh, I'm sorry, text align, horizontal alignment. We've looked at uh, indent a little bit. This is annoying me. Uh, let's see here. Um, font size, change the size of the text. That's a good one. Um, also, we have your backgrounds, background color, background image. If you want to make it an image, uh, we'll do that real quick. So we can find an image online of anything. So we'll find a cool cat picture, even though that's not what necessarily what my movie is about. So view the image. Now we need to copy this address here. Copy this, okay? And we're gonna go back to our code. And in the body, we're gonna do background image. Now we have to do a URL. Parenthesis, quote, paste our URL, quote, parenthesis, semicolon. Let's save that. Okay, go back here, refresh, and look at that. Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, now the next problem is that it's repeating. So we're going to have to use this repeat, background repeat. 
So we got to go back here, change the property. Background, repeat, no dash repeat. Save that. And refresh. There you go, no repeat. Now if you want to make it bigger, then you just need background size. Background size. And I like to use percentages. If you want it to be the whole page, 100%. That will uh, stretch the image width-wise to match the width of the page. There you go. Awesome, right? Okay. Okay. So there are way more properties that you can add, um, but some of the basic things are going to be color and size. So inside the title, we're going to want font size. And you can do it in pixels, so like uh, 60 pixels. Let's see, director font size. Let's say 40 pixels. And then for synopsis, font size. Let's do like 24 pixels. Review font size. Well, let's make it a little bigger, 28 pixels. So now you should see a slight difference over here in each one. Biggest, still pretty big. Smallest, medium. There you go. All right. Now the last thing is. Some of this text is hard to read, so we might put it under, we might put some background in the section. So for, let's say, which one's the hardest to read? So the second one is the hardest to read, synopsis. So we'll do background color, we'll make it like gray. Hmm, didn't like that one. Okay, so looks like I spelled synopsis wrong down here. That's the problem. Okay, let's save that and refresh. There we go. So now it's much easier to read. One last thing you can do is there's a special color thing you can use here. RGB red, green, blue, A for alpha. So you can set the intensity of each color. So if we do, let's say, 0, 0, 0, no red, no green, no blue, but we want some alpha. Alpha is transparency. So let's say we do half. So we need to use decimal point for this. So 0 0.5 we give you half 50 percent transparent so now it well, looks much nicer but then we probably want to change the color if we're going to make the background image so dark so then we go to color and let's make this uh hmm, pink why not There we go. All right, so your job is to fill in more properties here and complete the content. Then you're going to upload this to your Google Drive inside your ECS folder and make sure it's shared with me. All right, I hope that was helpful.